welcome today we will discuss about the final and concluding part of virtually true i hope so far whatever we have discussed is pretty clear to you still if you are stuck with any point you can feel free to contact me moreover i believe that the concluding part will remove all veils of doubt that are looming over us let's go ahead let's read the final few lines so after michael retreat recovered sebastian sells in the game war zone he is naturally struck with the point that how sebastian the world of game is connected with the real sebastian about whom he came to know through a newspaper so these are the pervading underlying questions that is going really gig in his mind let's go ahead so at let me read the final few lines at first and then we will come to line by line analysis of each of the points discussed in the last few lines at least that was what i thought then now i knew that sebastian sells the boy from the game really did exist i had seen the proof in the newspaper so this is the proof that sebastian sells <coughs> excuse me existed in the real world but how i wondered as i got off the train at home i checked the net i wanted to learn more about the miracle recovery story i found what i was looking for quickly enough apparently at the time of the accident sebastian was using his laptop to play one of the psycho one of the same psycho drive games that i have got my heart pounded furiously what if because sebastian had been plugged into the computer when he banged his head in the accident the computer had saved his memory into its own and then what if the weird versions of the game i had been drawn into had all been attempts to retrieve that memory so that's the question that has been that's the in fact a mood question that has been going on in the mind of michael after all that always says about the computer's memory it can never forget michael nothing ever gets lost but even if it was possible that sebastian's memory had been stored on disk how had it ended up on my computer scrolling down the article i found a possible explanation answering a reporter's question as to what the family was going to do next mr sulls said that they were off to stock up on some games it was while we were in the hospital okay so this is what mr sulls means father of sebastian sulls replied when he was asked 
that what he was going to do exactly after this. Let's go ahead. I said quietly, they ended up at the computer fair and we bought them. So this was his view. This was his understanding how he came to have the game featuring Sebastian Sultz. I left the net and checked my email. There was one from Sebastian. The trembling figure, fingers I clicked in and read the message. Dear Michael, it said, thank you. I'm not sure how it happened, but thanks. You saved my life. Let's meet up soon. Cheers, save. PS means post scriptum. Full form of PS is post scriptum. Means some note given after a specific instruction or writing. In that case, we write PS post scriptum. Keep the games you have earned them. I shook my head. A real message from the real Sebastian Sulz. We both knew that by relieving the accident, something wonderful had happened. But then again, now that there are two advanced intelligences on Earth, who can say what is and what isn't possible? What I know is this. Everything that I have discovered, sorry, described is true, but virtually. So what really happened is, let me tell you the detail of the last part. As Michael reached home, he checked the internet. He wanted more details about the newspaper article on miracle recovery that he had read earlier okay so going home reaching home he wanted to know about this michael found more information on the internet he came to know that sebastian had been playing one of those psycho drive games in his laptop at the time of the accident very important point to be noted so at the time of the accident, he was playing one of those psycho drive games in his laptop. Michael's heart beat faster as he realized what probably had happened with Sebastian. Sebastian had lodged himself into the computer game and so his memory got saved in the computer. This is what happened. His memory since he was connected to the computer at the time of the accident, his memory got saved into the computer. The strange version of the games that Michael played where he had a companion who resembled Sebastian, where Sebastian's attempts to get back his memory from the computer memory. So these versions, the different versions of games are only attempts to recover his memory. Michael was reminded of his dad's words that a computer can never forget anything and that nothing ever gets lost to it. Another question came up in Michael's mind. He wondered that although Sebastian's memory got saved in the computer's memory, how did it get into his computer? He found an explanation as he read the article further. When a reporter had questioned Sebastian's father that what would they do next, he had replied that they would buy new games. Their games had been stolen while they were in the hospital. He did not know where the games were. Michael spoke to himself that the games were bought by him at the computer fair. As all the confusion was clear, Michael closed the internet and checked his email. 
there was a mail from Sebastian. All right. Towards the end, he received a mail from the Sebastian. From Sebastian, Michael's fingers trembled as he clicked it. In a message, Sebastian thanked Michael for saving his life. He wanted to meet him in reality. He asked Michael to keep the games as a reward as he had saved Sebastian. Finally, Michael got a real message from the real Sebastian. He was filled with disbelief, naturally. He could still not figure out how the real world is connected with the virtual world. What is that pore? What is that porous channel that connects the real world with the virtual world? Both the boys knew that in the last game of Warzone during the accident, Michael had saved Sebastian and thus his memory had been retrieved and he came out of the coma. Michael says that there are two types of advanced intelligence on the earth. I hope you can guess what are the two types of advanced intelligence. One is of course human intelligence, of course. And the other is artificial intelligence. I hope you can guess what do I mean by this. Michael signs off by saying that the story is true, true to, to the core, but virtually, which means only in the world of computers. I hope now the story is quite clear to you, but still, if you're struck with any point, any line, you can feel free to contact me. I'm always here to help you. Thank you very much for your patience.